English for several times than me, uh, so I think we have some people here who only understand English. So my name is Lisa. I do community and PR for quantum theory in Russia. And um, yeah, so first of all, we're going to have Stella giving us a small intro on quantum ecosystem, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the upcoming hackathon. Um, are there any people here who just came here for hackathon or want to participate? Can you raise your hands, maybe? Okay, cool. That's okay. That's nice. And uh, yeah, also, again, please keep your name tags and uh, we want to see numbers on them at some point. And uh, those who will be lucky, um, you can later come up to me and leave your uh, information, your email, and maybe your wallet uh, to for us to send you the airdrop. Okay, I think we can start now. Uh, Stella, welcome. Hello. Welcome, Stella. Hello. Uh, thanks for coming today, everybody. So uh, I have to say sorry about my like, actually our co-founder Patrick. He's gonna be here, like he was gonna be here, but due to the visa problem, so that's gonna be me to give, kind of give you guys the intro about uh, quantum. So uh, I'm gonna give a little bit short introduction about myself. So uh, I'm Stella, uh, I'm the head of PR and marketing for quantum. And personally, I have joined this industry for like over four years already. So uh, today I have to say like I'm not a really tech guy, but I just, like trying to like give you guys a general idea about what's quantum. And also later we're gonna have like two more like uh, Russian developers gonna be here. So if you guys have any questions, like deeper tech questions, uh, uh, welcome to like go and find them. So uh, I'm gonna start my uh, speech today. So. I will give you guys an idea about like what's quantum, and so we're gonna from start from this like uh, five po five points. And first of all, we're gonna do the retrospective about quantum. So actually, we released our first white paper around like uh, 2016 and August, and then we actually got our like uh, SDR in March 2017. And it's kind of a huge, like first one, like kind of like popular ICO in China and actually kind of globally. And also, uh, we released our test net by uh, in uh, in June. Actually, it's like kind of like sorry, it didn't really update. So uh, it's in June 2017. So we released our first version of our test net. And uh, in August, we released the second version of our test net. We call it Sky Nine. Skynet. So actually, it's already in place. Man, all the like uh, you know features about the quantum mainnet on the testnet, the second version testnet. So um, we released the mainnet in September, and actually, it's a quantum full node by network, and it's already like trading on all the major exchanges. So nowadays, you guys can go on with the top like you know even top twenty. Exchanges, you will see quantum has already trade on it, uh, trade on it. So um, also we released the quantum SPD light wallet. So uh, you you can also like check like uh, you can do it like check some like uh, features on it, and and also we actually released our QRC twenty standard like token uh, in February uh, two thousand eighteen. So actually, the first like beginning during the before the mainnet, we actually released the ERC twenty first. So that's why we also do a swap by uh, kind of in, from like ERC twenty into QRC twenty. And then now like we are working on the those kind of like x eighty six virtual machine and also the quantum x enterprise like uh, version and. And actually, we kind of update our like uh, code like twice uh, twice a week per, per month, and totally we release like 25 versions of it. So this kind of restrictive about the quantum. And so now this is actually we're doing. So uh, like we have our mainnet already, and it's running quite well now. 
And also, like, we have, like, we are the first biggest, like, POS network, like, all the world right now. So we actually have over 7,000 full nodes. And then we actually launched our quantum apps, like, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's about the quantum enterprise version. So it's going to be match the existing business right now. So, and I will give more like introduction about this quantum enterprise for uh, later. And also like it's kind of an overview of the quantum system. And now we are working the quantum quantum mix and quantum web three and also the global like we have also cooperate with other like globally like tech partners about like we call it like so the three six zero finance it's a kind of biggest like uh, internet company in China. So actually all they are like overseas brand called Chip. I don't know if you guys heard about that or not, but uh, Block is uh, also one of the kind of pioneer like institution in blockchain society. And yeah, so yes. So yeah, I'm gonna give a really kind of like summary about what's quantum. So actually quantum, we base on UTXO model, but we have our own like uh, layers. We update the original BTC uh, Bitcoin protocol and can buy, uh, you use an extra, a con extra layer to deploy the EVM on, then you can run the EVM on Bitcoin code. So, also, as I mentioned earlier, we are the biggest like POS network in the world, like this, like for now. And and the different like uh, the different like the difference between uh, Ethereum now is like because Ethereum like they just put the currency and the, the platform there together, but we actually separate it. So it's gonna be more like it's gonna be more like you know uh, the faster and when you train even you're doing the ICO it's gonna be more like uh, more fast like speed about this and actually and also the x86 virtual machine is uh, about the new virtual machine that we create uh, trying to attract more major developers. So this virtual machine is gonna, as you guys know, like right now, EV uh, Ethereum virtual machine is support the Solidity language, but uh, Quantum X86 virtual machine is gonna support the C and C++ and Druze like language. So we're trying to bring the main, main uh, major like developers can also contribute themselves into the smart contract and. Uh, we're gonna be supposed to like release. Actually, the protocol has already come out, but it's, uh, uh, it's a kind of small demo. So, here, like, we're trying to release this at the end of this year or like early next year. And also, it's kind of a, the kind of a general idea about what's quantum. And I'm gonna give you guys, guys about like actually what's our innovation about uh, quantum. So, as I say, we based on. UTXO, which means the BTC UTXO model, and as I say, and why you can run the EVM virtual machine on uh, on Bitcoin is because we create the layer for the account abstract layer, so you can just easily adopt the EVM on the Bitcoin code, and also we're doing the the POS consensus. So actually, it's a kind of like uh, we still uh, right now. Uh, we have over like two, six thousand and eighty full nodes right now. It's over like fifty countries. So normally focus on the U.S., China, and also South Korea, and also the like Canada, like, and also like, and the second, the third point about the BGP is the decentralized governance protocol. So. You can easily to change your gas fee, you know, the transact the, the block size and uh, living to like every every feature is about the blockchain because like right now normally uh, like Bitcoin if you're trying trying to uh, change this like uh, like uh, factors you need to ask the community to vote and you know you need to do the hard fork. But with this like you don't need to do it, you can just like uh, change it by like, as the by like, voting from the community, which means the quantum holders. 
And actually, currently, as I mentioned right now, so the first point about quantum why uh, what we are doing is the first the virtual machine, and then it's the quantum X side, the quantum X enterprise version. So it's kind of a private chain, and you know, like compatible with the, all the quantum mainnet by features. So, but you know, it's a, a kind of proof of authority consensus. So you can actually customer uh, uh, customize uh, your like features about like you know higher TPS, and uh, you can just adopt the you know the enterprise like can just like based on these two uh, you know customize them what they want because like actually uh, you can see like the public chain right now. It doesn't really existing for the uh, existing like uh, business right now because like there's maybe like higher gas fee and you know the the transaction speed is gonna be like slower but it doesn't really like make sense for the business so we're doing this the uh, kind of uh, private private chain version of quantum so it's already launched and also we are on the testing like uh, testing period right now. So, and if you guys are interested, then also can check out our GitHub and you can just like join our testing, like, you know, uh, just like hand in some like box and, you know, give some opinions of all this. And also we try, we are working on the layer two solution. It's an offline, offline solution to improve the scalability of blockchain right now. So uh, actually quantum right now, we are working on the Lightning Network and the state channels and also the the side chain and cross chain of course to uh, improve the quantum scalability right now so yeah so this is kind of the things like quantum normally focus on uh, like for the technical part and sorry yeah so just as i mentioned earlier like quantum is just not just only a currency or just only a platform we can buy those two together so you can see like bitcoin is a really good mixture for tra like a uh, transaction you know like payment like payment payment measures and it's more decentralized and with full node and especially for peer-to-peer -peer stuff and now you, you see like ethereum's most like uh, innovation for blockchain is their platform they, they're doing a smart contract they the first one who brought point out the smart contract ideas and really like it's already been running like over two uh, over like two two years and also like with the so that's why we're saying that we're not just only focused on current uh the currency that because like it's gonna be limited uh, scalability and with the with the platform like uh, features that you can deploy more like functions on blockchain. So quantum, that's our idea about like we're trying to combine those two and bring more uh, friendly environment for all the blockchain like technologies like. Yeah, so uh, it's kind of like give you guys why we are the, the biggest like POS network right now. So you can see like for the Bitcoin system, like it's over like, it says from like 2019, but actually they have like over 10,000 like, 10,000 like nodes. But you can see like we just only launched less than one year, but we have over like 70, like uh, 7,000 full nodes that all over the world. So it's kind of the, the, the kind of allocation for the full nodes that who focus that. Like. So actually most one, yeah, uh, it's mostly the, the full nodes from like China, and the second one is uh, from the uh, like South, America, uh, South Korea. Because like, uh, Quantum also has a huge community in Asia, so South Korea is the uh, really biggest like, supporter for Quantum. And also we have a lot like uh, other nodes from North America, and yeah, as I just mentioned, like uh, Canada, Japan also, and also Estonia, and yeah. And, and now it's kind of the, like, you know, the small summary for quantum, like what's quantum and what we are doing since like from that we launched the mainnet until now. So uh, after this whole year is like working and we're trying to, uh, you know, bring more genius and talented people from to uh, the blockchain 
uh, society. So actually, we also like kind of we has already have our own global online handsome alike. So uh, it's kind of give you some like idea about what we're doing. So actually, we giving like over like equal like five hundred thousand USD for all the participations who uh, can contribute the uh, you know contribute to the content like handsome and. Normally, we're gonna focus on this, like some of the points about the payment, the smart contract, the you know the DFs uh, content, and you know like because like right now actually we have over 60 DFs that build on content, and it's uh, includes the entertainment, the financial, also the engin engineering, uh, the the energy industry, so also the financial stuff, but. Here we're trying to like make it more globally and trying to make people can join a content network. So that's why we start this like challenge for everybody like to face to the public. And and maybe you guys can take a picture for the the I'm, I'm not sure whether you guys can see the link because it's a kind of stack channel for who's gonna join the hack song. You guys even have any questions about uh, the hack song stuff and you also can go on uh, you know content.org to check more information and yeah you can take it and also you can ask us like later if you guys so this is kind of the price we're giving to hold the whole map the, the the whole match is like for hack song. So we're gonna have one winner for one thousand fifty dollars and you know, seventy like two winners for seventy five thousand, and also three for thirty thousand, and like four for ten thousand dollars for the prize winners. And it's kind of also we have other milestone like prizes. About the first is the original business plan, the community, the the update, the date update of the of the 